Hi, I'm Cider Spider, and I'm on a journey to get every available achievement in Final Fantasy XIV. This monumental grind takes countless hours of gameplay over the span of several years, and I'm taking it on one week at a time. So, let's get started. This week we're going to be taking on some of the most neglected content in the entire game, and I don't mean Chocobo Racing. No. Today we're going to be running something so pointless that it hasn't been updated since it was created all the way back in A Realm Reborn. That's right! It's Guildhests! Guildhests are supposed to be introductory missions that teach you how to play in a party with other players, except the Hall of the Novice already teaches you most of the same stuff. And there's a multi-page tutorial that you have to skip through before you're allowed to play the first dungeon. And you can play the first dungeon with bots if you really want to practice. So Guildhests are almost completely pointless, reward almost nothing, and are only run today as a way to farm commendations to unlock Mentor. Since there's no Burger King in Eorzea yet, this is the easiest way to get a cardboard or crown next to your name, which is the only way to assert dominance over noobs and remind them that you have five bone stacks and full death debuff because you're good at the game. But that aside, there's something much more important tied to these guild hests. Achievements! Right now, there are four guild hest achievements that I still have not obtained, worth a total of 30 points. To get all of them, I have to complete 200 guild hests. So that's our goal for the week. This might be the most miserable grind yet. So, let's just go ahead and get started. Oh my god, this content might be more neglected than I thought. Oh, we finally got one. Let's do this. I've prepared a glam for the occasion. Uh, yeah, there's the one. Well, this is one out of 200. I don't actually know what we're supposed to be doing here. Hooray! Command the monk. Tank's already a mentor, so no commands. You don't need them. Now would be a good moment to actually see how many I technically need to do. So it's 172. Yeah. We're gonna be here a while. Alright, so I guess this one is designed to teach us about ads. Don't ignore the ads or things get worse, but we're gonna just ignore the ads. I, I think it's gonna be okay. Easy. Look at this little baby sprout doing guild hests. You don't even know any better, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, these are actually kind of paying a lot of gill. Let me open a calculator and keep tabs on how much gill I'm getting paid. This seems to be another, uh, another ad management guild test. So like I said, these are like supposed to teach you things. They're supposed to give you like useful combat experience, but almost none of it is useful advice. The solution to every problem is just pull as many mobs as possible and then kill them. These things are just obsolete. They could honestly just throw it away and nobody would miss it. Up, oh, serving a greater cause for. We got our first achievement. Oh yeah, by the way, since uh, healing guild hests is considered uh, com farming, I have 1,332 player commendations. If I get to 1,500, I can unlock the mentor roulette. So if we're lucky, we might kill two birds with one stone here. Nevertheless, 170 more guild has to go. I love that I can poison a stack of crates, and the stack of crates takes damage from the poison. I should have got crates with a better immune system. These stupid goblins. What happens if I stand in it? Let's just, let's just eat it. Let's eat it. It doesn't even really hurt, and Selene heals me back instantly. So there's basically no obligation to even avoid the damage here. Take that stick flicks grumbly toss. You suck. Let's calm the, the sprout. I don't want to pile comms on mentors. Give it to the little babies. We'll make them feel good about themselves. They deserve it. You're cued for a guild hest. You deserve a commendation. It's really just that simple. Tell you one thing, though. At this rate, we might need more whiskey. Slay the Ledge Leaper. Okay. This is a femro with dreads. Oh my god. We gotta do whatever we can to get this Sprout to stay in the game. She's getting the calm. But there's a part of me deep inside that knows that once she finishes ARR, she's gonna fant at a cat girl. The femro to cat girl pipeline is undeniable. Calm goes to the femro unconditionally. I just realized the other Sprout is a Highlander. These are both gonna be cat girls and a couple of MSQs. <laughs> it's just not avoidable. Alright, another minute. Another guild hest. <laughs> I respect the one person actually doing the mechanics while everybody else is just like <laughs> DPSing the boss. <laughs> Listen, it can't kill us if it's dead. And it can't dead if we don't kill it. So like screw mechanics, just kill it. 
Just hit it really hard. Hooray. Yeah, it goes to you. I think what's most surprising about this is that so far, I don't think I've got the same people twice. So that means the people I'm partying with are not also spamming guild hests. But like, guild hest roulette gives you like 20,000 experience. Like, no matter what level you are, it's minuscule. It's the most pointless roulette in existence. But thank goodness it exists because otherwise this achievement would be a nightmare to get. I just can't comprehend why people would queue for it is all. I guess, I mean, here, there's a question for you guys. Do you queue for guild hest roulette and why? Man, I really wish I could change strat, energy drain, dissipate, energy drain, but like, I've got ruin. All right, one of these things is not like the other, and therefore, you get the calm. Engage the Shadow Claw. I assume we just have to kill this guy. Oh my god, is that a Famelizen? I've never seen one of those before. I thought they were removed after 1.0 got deleted. It has to go to the Famelizen. Get calmed, idiot. Congrats on being able to reach the tallest leaves on the savanna. Hey guys, I think I need a, a smaller bath. This is oppression. What do you mean, roll waiting list number two? There's another healer doing guild hests at 1.19 a.m.? Does anybody know how to hire a hitman? Asking for a friend. Oh no, there's ads, quick cast expedients. Uh, Celine, do consolations, fate blessing, anything. Pull out all the stops. Oh, well, I guess he's dead. Wow, dude, that tank left in record time. <laughs> how did he get out so fast? He was gone before I could press the commendation button. That's impressive. That might be the most giga chat thing I've ever seen. That's like a like a leave duty macro. Like I, I don't know how you could get out that fast. This guy alt F forward. <laughs> he friggin' unplugged his computer. Oh snap. Back to back Bachmans. All right, easy enough. Calm, of course, goes to the Arcanist. K okay, bye. 62 gil. Man, Bachman is broke. Unstressed, unbothered, moisturized, in my lane. Doing guild hests. Defeat one enemy group at a time. Now, this is just bad advice. No, 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 no. We ain't about to take these on one at a time. <laughs> GG, idiot. Calm goes to the pugilist. Oh, wait, there's two pugilists. Well, there's only one cop. I've already cast my lot. 62 gil. Oh no, that one's broke too. Am I gonna have to switch to tank? Tank in need gets all the money. I want all the money. Slay the bomb queen. This one's new. Can't hit me if I don't stop moving. I'll be okay. Bro, <laughs> why am I asleep? Oh god. Dude, this one sucks. How many steps are there to this thing? Oh my god. Okay, there's the bomb queen. Yep. Hooray. Oh god. Forgot about this one. Hooray. That was annoying. Starting to get this tank a lot. He must be calm farming. So I will graciously give him comms. And wait a minute. Two of these people are the same ones from the last one. Is this the double dancer guild hest meta that I've heard so little about? Oh no, not the turtle again. It has reached a point where I'm starting to get the same people over and over and over again. But the thing is, a couple of them are sprouts, so it's like, are they just doing this for XP? Like, why, why are they doing this? It's not even good XP. Oh, whatever. Have your comment. Eat it, too. It's that Femelizen again. I guess it's possible that she's a mentor without the crown showing, and just keeps getting dragged into this crap. But I mean, some of these players are sprouts, so like, it could potentially explain the Elizen, but it doesn't explain the other random people that keep showing up. I was gonna say, those tank is pretty metal. <laughs> this might be the most Giga Chad guy online right now. Therefore, he gets a comm. Imagine how much simpler life could be if I just had AoE skills. I would be shrecking these guys with Art of War. But no. Instead, I just have to ruin their day. Get ruined, idiot. It's gotta go to the samurai. That plate's too awesome. Watch us game. Serving a greater cause 5. Comm goes to the Chimkin. What a gamer. This has actually been going a little bit quicker than I thought it was going to go. But yeah, that last achievement means we just hit 50. Meaning, there's still 150 to go. But you may have noticed, it's 2 a.m. Or as I like to call it, bedtime. So this grind is to be continued. But wait a minute. How did I get that hat I've been wearing? Well, it's not a very long story. So let's insert the footage right about here. All right, it's time for what might be the last leveling roulette I ever do. Oh, why did it have to be Venice Spotty? 
Well, at least our tank is a warrior and also a Hrothgar. I don't think I've ever met a Hrothgar player that's bad at the game. And a warrior can solo anything, so we're gonna be okay. I just wanna call this Hrothgar out. You notice he has the Of the Golden Hide title? I know there's no chance that this guy actually cares about playing Leatherworker. He did that just for the title. Hrothgar players are on another level. Watch how hard I ball. Bam! <laughs> I ball so hard! <laughs> Knock back, I think. Not back. It ain't happening. What happens if I, like... <laughs> I'm too much of a gamer, dude. Oh, snap! There's level 89, Red Mage. Uh, forgot how cool this vignette is. Yeah, the dungeons are all just hallways now, but at least they're pretty hallways. Uh, Knock back. Yeah, I'm just not doing that. I'm just not gonna do it. No thanks, idiot. There we go. It's, uh, it's gotta go to the tank. I, I wanna give it to the healer just as like a consolation, but it has to be the tank. The tank was cooking. Uh, we're back in Limsa. Did you know that Final Fantasy XIV has a free trial that extends all the way to level 70 with no limit on playtime? Come for the gameplay. Stay for the gameplay. So anyway, we only got half a level here, which is uh, a bit of an issue because I need the other half. And you know what gives half a level? Oh. All right, let's see how we did. Well, this sucks. All right, well, time for the second chances. All right, now for the final run of Thakast Thak. This one's for all the marbles. Die, idiot. 27 seconds, that's my best time. All right, gamers, it's time to see how badly Chloe got me this week. <laughs> yeah, that's about what I expected. Well, I suppose I did get a line this week, so we'll spare the rat lemonade stand this time. Oh my god. I'm still 200k away from a level? Alright, never mind. Perish in flames and race. Oh boy, back to Yedlib mad. Guess what we're doing today? It's not hippo quests. It ain't no dungeons neither. Welcome to fate events. There's something truly cathartic about slaughtering an entire herd of elephants right outside of the elephant home base. Whoever put this fate here, thank you. Get slashed, idiot. And there is Red Mage, level 90. How deep the rabbit hole goes, five. Just like the amount of points that I got. And there's Mastering Magic, five. 20 points, incredible. But wait, there's more. A life of adventure, five, 30 points. For that one fate event, I just got 55 achievement points. We are truly gaming. And now, check this out. It's taken me almost three years to max all of my jobs in Final Fantasy XIV. And now, finally, I get the ultimate reward that I deserve. This incredible hat. Wow. Sure am glad that I spent 194 days playing for this. Thanks, Yoshi P. The P stands for pathetic. And we're back. Another day, another guild test. Another bone crawler on Mateus. And I missed it. Oh well. At least I still have guild tests. Lol. You know, when this was healer in need, I was actually making decent money, but now it's tank in need, even though my Q keeps insta-popping. I feel like I'm getting scammed. Femro Leather Mommy definitely gets the com. Is this the secret to finding Femros? You just gotta do guild hests? Maybe that's why there are no Femros in Limsa. They're all doing guild hests. Gotta give it to the Femro. That's twice in a row in this uh, place I've had a Femro on the team. Like, it, it just doesn't make any sense. I think there's something to this. I'm not sure what the science is behind this growing Femro guild hest hypothesis, but let's see how the research bears out. Com goes to the Femro. I don't make the rules, I just have to follow them. Oh, hey, it's the ninja again. I can't believe the only two Femros logged into the game right now are both doing guild hests. Could it be? A third Femro? Okay, this can't be a coincidence. It's the most Femros I've seen in a month. Why are they all doing guild hests? Why are the biggest ladies doing the smallest content? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, one of these portraits is not like the others. It's the cat girl, obviously. Someone just got level 88. Why are you... <laughs> There's no way so at level 87 is doing guild hests for XP. And there he is again. Stick flicks grumbly toss. Grumbly toss him in the trash can. 
bro. Someone else just got level 88. What's going on here today? There's too many coincidences. I think I'm uncovering some kind of conspiracy. What's the deal with level 87 Femros running guild hests? And then you've got this Chad Sprout Hrothgar with the guild has title on. He might be working on the same thing I'm working on. Or maybe he just really enjoys guild hests, I don't know. Let's give him a comm. Ah oh, crap, I'm missing a Shadowbringers hunt for this. Inside you there are two scholars. Ones who use Eos, and ones who are correct. I'm gonna all Aura party. Huh. I'm gonna come uh, the Aura. Bro, we got a male row and a fem Ellison. This might be our rarest pull yet. I don't know who to give the comm to. Alright, after consulting with my team, we have decided the comm will go to the mail row. Just realized the NPC's name is Lost Rabbit. That's kinda cute. You know, I've been told Hellsguard Rogan in names, you know how it's just like, like, adjective noun. Apparently the lore is that when the baby is born, the dad, like, just goes outside and the first thing he sees is what the kid gets named. So if he walks outside and sees, like, Blue Sky, then your kid's name is Blue Sky. Or it's something dumb like that, right? Well, well, actually, I was born next to active construction. So my dad walked outside and he saw a storm drain without the lid on it. And that's how I got the name Gaping Manhole. So this is an eight-person guild hest? I forgot there was one of these. What the... Well, I guess we're just killing giants and not letting them beat up these building blocks? What's a shield rummer? Is that the next, uh, casting job? Oh man, so many options to come here, uh, it's gonna go to the mail row. Okay, bye. Nope, oh, it's that time again. Oh, we found the most giga of chads. <laughs> we can tank it. Uh-oh. Oh, we can't tank it. Bro, that was 70% over shields and 20% mid. How did I still die? <laughs> he can't be that strong. No, not this one again. Let's stay in melee for the autos. We are optimized AF. It's another Femelizen. I gotta say though, the, I know this is like a grand company title, but something about the title Flame Lady is like the worst thing ever. It sounds like the lamest superhero ever. You know how like Marvel's got the Phoenix? I feel like DC would have Flame Lady. <laughs> <laughs> Flame Lady gets to come. I've been seeing this male aura a lot. I think he's a stealth mentor. My, my favorite guild hest game to play is spot the person that queued for this. It's probably not the guy with all casters 90. It's probably not the guy with an anima relic. Could it be the black mage in baby gear? Wait, what? He has a finished ARR relic. Who's queuing for this? Is it just me? Are these all mentors? And I'm the one? <laughs> oh no. Uh-oh, gamers. We got an S rank in Northern Thanalan. Minnow cow? That doesn't look like a minnow or a cow. But there's something you guys should know. This one's special. And here's why. Get broiled, idiot. Mmm, broiled worm. There it is! Mark of the Desert S! That was the last S rank I needed in Thanalan. But also... On your mark, S! That was the last S rank I needed in all of ARR. Ah, oh, lovely. Two achievements, 15 points. We are gaming. No, oh, look, it came with a title as well. Time for an upgrade. Goodbye, Soldier of Fortune. Hello, Seasoned Tracker. Yeah, I'm seasoned, all right. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. Average wait time, nine minutes. Why do bad things happen to small people? Oh my god, finally! Com goes to the Femelism. Thank you for your existence. And of course, there is another S rank. Oh, hey, Flame Lady's back. Sure is cold out here in the snow. It's a good thing we've got Flame Lady with us. I think we're just com trading at this point. Oh, we got Mad Baby Team. All right, very easy. Oh, the tiny team terrorizes again. What's that on the tree branch? It's Flame Lady and her trusty sidekick, Seasoned Tracker. Oh, what have they gotten themselves up to today? Oh, those pesky goblins are at it again, throwing bombs everywhere. But they've stacked crates on the stairs. Oh, they've broken through the crates. Can they survive the bombardment of bob arms? Probably. And there at the top of the hill, their arch nemesis, Stick Flicks Grumbly Toss. Oh, he's grumbly tossing all kinds of explosives. Oh, good. Goodness me, so many bombs. But he's no match for Flame Lady, who gets so many comms. And thus the day is saved again. Give me my money, Ribald. A uh, stupid wolf baby can have the comm, I guess. 
Wait, I, I just read this for the first time. The guild hest will end soon. Speak with the battle warden immediately or risk losing your reward. So if you just don't talk to the guy and it ends, you just don't get your reward? Who designed that? Oh, we found another femro. Meanwhile, look at this giga chad. Imagine being a saint of the firmament and getting dragged into hero on the half shell. GG Lameo. And down he goes uh, again. And after a soul-crushing few hours, here we find ourselves killing the Ledge Leaper again. But guess what? BAM! Serving a greater cause six. I guess I'll calm the tank, I don't know. And what do you know? It comes with a title. That's right, we are a seasoned tracker no more. And now, the last resort. Suffocation! No breathing! But just because we get a title doesn't mean the grind is over. In fact, we have to do it all again. Oh, goodness. Cut my life into pieces. I am the last resort. Suffocation. No breathing. Don't care if my whole party is sleeping. I'm not casting an Essena, because it doesn't deal damage. You got Femrose on your phone? Oh, here we go. It's our favorite guild test. Under the armor. What's under the armor? That'd be a 62 gill and no comms. That's what's under the armor. Oh man, somebody get this guy away from the thigh master. Boy, got that Shrek workout plan. Beta gamers ask for a thigh slider. Chad gamers just make better glams. All right, let's go hest some guilds. That said, I won't say no to a thigh slider. It's what femros deserve. All right, there's an S rank on Goblin. To this day, still, nobody will tell me why they call it Goblin, but that's where we're going. This is a pretty nice glam. It has that anime side character that gets a two-episode arc vibe. No, oh, whatever we hear. This femro raids deep canals. I feel like this is just turning into a femro appreciation video. But you know what? Maybe it's better that way. It's what the femros deserve. Our lead tank is a, a Limsa cat girl with the title QB Tamer. And here I'm just wondering, where do I get the title QB? Shout out to my co-host Jin. Gunbreaker's plate has Fortnite vibes. Our Fortnite bro gets the com. Under the armor! <sighs> Go get him, cat girl squad. What's under the armor? Three cat girls. I like to believe that that's what's piloting every male row. Uh, I'm gonna calm the cat girl. We'll give it to the samurai, because no samurai has ever been commended ever. Oh, the S rank in the locks is up. That's the last one I need in Alamigo. Uh, die, Lucrota, die. We gotta go. It might not be too late. Mount, 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 mount. Oh my god, there he is. Look at him, he's beautiful. What is the warrior of light made of? Salt and light, the secrets of the universe have been revealed. Be expedient, mad babies, be expedient. Oh my god, we did it! Mark of the Waste S! Yes. Uh, five points! Uh, I can't believe they held long enough. Dude, hunters are eating good today. Three back-to-back -back S ranks. Send Merv more like send Merked. GG, idiot. But anyway, back to guild tests. I gotta say, it's really not surprising that the S rank for this region would turn out to be this rig. Because the A rank is a twerking minotaur. Why not have the S rank be some twerking guy too? Take that, idiot. Maybe the final act of the Stormblood was just the devs twerking on us all along. The subtle hints are there. I don't think this conspiracy theory is ill-founded. You just have to read the subtext. Look at the adjective. The numbers don't lie. And they spell disaster for our unbitwork faces. Remember, scholars, always fight in melee range. Slap those hoes with a book. And as we transfer for another S rank, let's uh, please give a moment of silence for the sober version of myself in the future who has to edit this footage. 100 sacks of allied seals. What? Oh, why is it always the bomb one? Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Don't stand there, senpai. Can the bomb sleep? Oh my god, it can. Look at him, he's still sleeping. <laughs> Look at that idiot. Have no fear, Sprout Breaker. I've got your back. You can pull all of this. And when I say I've got your back, I do, of course, mean Celine does. Have a calm, why don't you? Ah, oh, crap. The same one twice in a row. Wait, this is very much not the same one. What am I talking about? Is my brain okay? Oh, God. Yeah, that's not good. That's, uh, 
That's what you might call bad. The summoner got the rest faster than I did. The summoner's a better healer than me. And the monk's a better tank than the tank. What's going on in this guild nest? Feels like there's always a lot of bean royalty at these things. What is the bean monarchy like, I wonder? The bean line of succession is either hotly contested or the most chill thing ever. All right, another S rank bites the dust. Can we catch this idiot turtle one more time? Calm the paladin. Brought two male rows in the same guild hest, and they both pimpin'. This is the hardest decision I've ever faced. I think it's gonna be hatless glasses. Don't make me do it. We. <laughs> All right, we got him. I know a good mentor might explain, hey, bring the turtle over here, but I'm not a mentor. And how often do I get to gainfully use rescue? Down goes that thing. Another S rank bites the dust. No, it's you again. You're going down, Grumbly Toss. I tire of this farce. Get gobbed, idiot. Oh, I think I like this tank. Easiest calm of my life. Islanders still winning. They will never not be winning. It's crazy the sheer amount of players that always show up to these hunts, man. <laughs> Hashtag dead game. Another S rank dead, another 100 sacks of nuts. As you can see, we're making pretty good progress. Who's Giga Chad Aura Lancer? You get the com. All right, what kind of cookies do I have to leave out for Femro Santa Claus? Asking for a friend. Tell you one thing though, I might need a bigger chimney. Feels redundant to calm the mentor, but it must be done. What are these angry babies doing? If we get too many of us together, only bad things can happen. And down it goes. Again, all I want to do is grind guild hests, but people keep spawning so many S ranks. All right, before I forget again, I keep overcapping on causalities, so let's buy some more Manderville stuff. Hooray. Hey, so how come this is called the Guild Turtle when it's clearly a tortoise? Get Yoshi P on the line right now. We gotta fix this. This game is literally unplayable. And this Gubu falls. Com goes to the Highlander, of course. And that is 150 Guild Hests. Oh, still so many left to go. Oh, look, a Shadowburger's in a rank I actually got to this time. All right, hurry up and go to sleep, Turtle. Hurry, hurry. Sleep, idiot. Calm the tank. I don't want to miss an S rank for this. Uh, bro, more than 50 in Q. It's already over. Nope, it's already dead. <laughs> oh, great. Right back into this turtle again. You just cost me an S rank. Now, this looks like somebody that's going to get a calm. How can you not calm the soup can Giga Chad? If you wear the soup can, you get a calm. That's just how it works. Easy calm, easy go. Okay, bye. I never thought about this, but if those are tamed spriggans, the toad tamed them? Either way, it's no match for Storm Lady, and the day is saved once again. That deserves a calm if anything ever did. And there goes the scorpion again. Garlians sure love their giant metal scorpion bots. Cleared yet another guild hest, bringing us up to a grand total of 175. There are just 25 more to go. Take that, Gamma, you stupid scorpion. 4,000 Centurio Seals. I gotta go spend those. Well, what do you know? A new mount. The only question is, does it suck? The answer is yes. Yes, it does. Worst mount ever. Oh, snap! That's leaving a better impression. One. I forgot about that. I didn't realize I was gonna get that. Wow, so we hit 1,500 commendations and we're not even done. I can see why people use this as a farm. That means I can now unlock Mentor Roulette. And then I can get karma for pulling all these mentors into Guildhest Roulette all day. But the depressing thing about Mentor Roulette is, uh, there are actually a lot of achievements for it. And the really depressing thing is, they take a very long time. So what that means is, I'm gonna have to actually do it. If I can find the time to do it, I might do Mentor Roulette progress videos as a separate thing. Let me know what you guys think. If you would be interested in watching that, please tell me. No idea if slash when that'll happen, but the more people interested, the more likely it becomes. Oh wait, so the Chernabog spawns in the mines. I get it. This here is a large gentleman. Okay, the heck was that? My goodness, I can't believe how many S ranks I've been getting today. Huzzah, guild has complete. One of these Santa Claus black mages is gonna have to get a com. And that leaves just 10 guild hests remaining. All right, we're running out of time, so let's just count these down. And that is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, and here we go into the last guild test. I would be this one. This is the worst one. Oh my god, this is the worst party ever. They keep killing them all at random. They're not reading the text. We get this before. Oh my god. Thank goodness. Enraptured servitude. Yeah. I don't know if enraptured is the word, but that was definitely servitude. Anyways, that's 200 guild hests for 20 points. We can't be stopped. But this video's already over time, so let's cue the outro. Alright, let's be quick. We got tons of S rank progress, neglected all our weeklies, and gained 12 achievements for a total of 110 points, which brought my LOL achievement score up to 13,605. My world rank jumped from 345 up to 335, so the steady progress is continuing nicely. Also, one of the achievements this week was live on stream, go follow the stream. Anyway, the video's too long and I'm way behind, so I'm gonna get the heck out of here and go celebrate a Christmas. One like equals one Christmas. Okay, bye.